SwiftUI's form view lets us store user input in a really fast and convenient way. But sometimes it's important to go a further step to check the data is correct before you proceed. Well, we've got a modifier just for that purpose called disabled. You give this thing a condition to check, and when it's true, whatever view it's attached to will not respond to user input. Buttons can't be pressed, sliders uh, can't be dragged around, and so on. Now, if you want to, you can use a simple property here, like a Boolean, for example, or you can call a method, or you can use a computed property. It's down to you. To try us out, we'll write a form that accepts an email address and a username. So we'll say, uh, at state private var username is an empty string. And at state private var email is an empty string. And here will be our form with the first section saying text field username bound to text of dollar username. And then text field email with text bound to dollar email. Then we'll do a second section with a button saying create account, spelled correctly ideally. And when that's pressed, we'll say print creating account, like that. Now in this example, we don't want users to be able to create an account unless both these two fields above have been filled in. And so we can actually disable this form section here containing the create account button by adding the disabled modifier. We could say, this is disabled if username is empty or email is empty. So disable the whole section if username is empty or if email is empty. And you might find it's worth spinning out your conditions into a separate computed property. For example, we might say uh, down here, var disable form is a bool and we'll send back username dot count is less than five or email dot count is less than five. And I can refer to that directly inside our disabled modifier. We can just say disabled if disabled form is true. Now regardless of how you do it, I hope you just go ahead and try running the app and just see how SwiftUI handles a disabled button because it's really, really nice. Um, I'll go ahead and enter my username here, which is uh, come on, you can do it at two straws. There we go. And my email address is paul at hackingwithswift.com. And you see how I was typing, create account lights up. As soon as it passes the test or fails it, like now, it lights up straight away. And the same for up here, if I'd had just an at sign, it refuses to work. So as soon as the test passes, it will light up blue like that. It's really, really nice. And that brings us to the end of the overview for this project. So please press uh, Command Z uh, a few times to get back to the original uh, content view.swift. It's time to begin our real project now.